Uh, welcome members to the 36th and last meeting in 2017 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, apologies have been received from Alison Harris. Uh, agenda item one is consideration of instruments subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised by our legal advisers on the draft regulation of investigatory powers Covert Surveillance and Property Interference Code of Practice Scotland Order 2018. Uh, the Draft Regulation of Investigatory Powers Equipment Interference Code of Practice Scotland Order 2018. And the Draft Regulation of Investigatory Powers Covert Human Intelligence Sources Code of Practice Scotland Order 2018. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Uh, the next item of business is consideration of instruments subject to negative procedure and no points have been raised by our advisors on SSI 2017, 428 and 430. Is the committee content with these instruments? Okay. Agenda item three is consideration of an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure and no points have been raised by our advisors on SSI 2017 429. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Gender item four is consideration of the delegated powers provisions in the Historical Sexual Offences, Pardons and Disregards Scotland Bill. The bill follows uh, from a commitment given to the Parliament by the Cabinet Secretary for Justice in October 2016. The financial memorandum for the bill states that it aims to correct an historical wrong in terms of how certain criminal laws in the past were used to discriminate against same-sex sexual activity, where the same activity, if undertaken between people of different sexes, was not criminalised. The bill aims to ensure that people convicted under those historical laws will receive a pardon. They will separately be able to apply to the Scottish ministers to seek to have such criminal conviction information removed, or in other words, disregarded, from specific sets of official records if certain criteria are met. Both the pardon and the disregard will apply where the same activity would now be lawful. Delegated powers are contained in sections 10, 15 and 17 of the Bill and no issues have been raised by our legal advisers in regard to these delegated powers. So is the committee content with the delegated powers in the Bill uh, and to report to the lead committee accordingly? Okay, uh, I'll close the meeting.